Right, so this video is likely to be part of a series of videos and that's how to build the hex beam I've been building over the last year um, so what I thought I would do is actually start with the centre plate now this hex beam has been designed in such a way that someone with basic DIY skills will be able to do this um, so I think this is one of the elements that puts people off is actually making something like this and making something that's uh, got a reasonable professional look it's not saying it's perfect but I think it looks pretty good so I'm going to give you a run through now of how I actually do this and what you need to do um, so down in the description there'll be a link to a, a folder which is on a Google Drive and that has got a bill of material uh, and it's also got um, a drilling template, so all you would need to do is print out the drilling template, uh, cut it out, uh, actually print it out in one-to-one -one size, uh, cut it out, stick it onto your, your aluminium disc, and basically just drill the holes in those positions. So, this aluminium disc, um, this was from eBay, so this was pretty inexpensive. It is 200 millimetres in diameter, and it is three millimeters thick so you don't need to do any cutting uh, like that it's, it's it's quite simple and you can buy these uh, aluminium discs now I think some things call them al aluminium circles but um, yeah have a look on eBay I think that's the best place to get them I have seen them on Amazon but they have been a little bit more expensive so once you get your aluminium disc you then stick on your template that you've printed out and one to one and then you simply need to just drill the holes. Now you can just, I would advise you to center punch the holes um, so you can get them reasonably accurate. Perhaps use a, a, a center drill um, or a, a small drill before you use the, um, the bigger drill just so you can get them as accurate as they can because they do need to be reasonably accurate. So you need um, two sizes of holes for this. You need an M6 clearance drill for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 holes um, M6 clearance and this hole through the middle this is 20 millimeter diameter clearance because that's to actually give us clearance um, for our centre post, centre mast now if I was going to make this again I'd probably use a 25 millimeter uh, centre mast but with a thinner wall but it's up to you what you use but um, what I'm showing you here is with the <coughs> 20 millimeter center post so once you've actually drilled out all your um, uh, positions you can then think about starting to assemble this thing and I've got two of these assemblies off here these clamps so to show you so through the middle you can actually see <coughs> I've got two of these um, clamps these are aluminium clamps now I've got these on uh, Amazon they were about £12 uh, for the pair which I thought was pretty good and these are shaft support couplings something like that they're called um, but relatively inexpensive and um, you could maybe get away with just using one but I like to use one top and bottom just to give it that little bit um, additional strength and um, these are clamped together with um, the M6 again going all the way through and you can see that we've got a I think this is actually an M4 thread in these um, now um, you do need to put the centre post in before you tighten this one up here otherwise you don't have clearance in here a little bit of my mistake on my part but maybe if it was positioned slightly different you could you could get away with it but it's but it's no biggie so um, what this is is a um, half inch tube by 22 gauge I believe so that is 12.7 millimeter diameter and 0.7 millimeter wall thickness and this is actually to accept our fiberglass poles our tent poles so again all the measurements are in the uh, the bill of materials so I've got that and it's about 74 millimetres long so around about 70 millimetres is going to be long enough at the end of that you can see that I've drilled through and I've put a M4 a bolt and a nylock washer and that's to just basically allow the poles to just bottom out use whatever you wish you could drill a hole through and perhaps put a split pin through cotter pin whatever but that's use what you have to hand but that, that provides our end stop now talking these, these are um, basically hydraulic tube clamps 
Um, now, these are quite inexpensive here in the UK. These are less than one pound each. I think these were about eight depends, even with the uh, with the tax. Um, so these come in different sizes. So they come from class zero, um, class one, all the way up to class six, and um, within those class sizes you have different uh, diameters through the middle so the clamps get bigger as they go so I actually was going to use smaller 8mm poles um, but couldn't do that, I had to use the bigger 11mm poles 11mm poles so I thought right, I either have to remake this plate with size 2 clamps or could actually drill these out so what I've actually done as I've used a step drill, which biggest diameter was 13 millimetres, and I've actually just drilled these out. I basically just clamped them together roughly, <coughs> and I basically put the step drill right through it. And with doing that, you can see that it gets a, a reasonably good fit. Okay? So you could build this plate with, you'd need to re, you would need to basically redraw it out, um, but for ease, I thought it was just easier just to actually drill these out. These um, class 1 clamps, the biggest size these go to is 12 millimeters. so when you go to half inch you need to go to a size 2 and it's a, it's a good bit bigger. So, um, if we're actually going to assemble this, again everything's linked down in the description. We've got a stainless steel bolt, we've got a washer, and you want to put this through like so, like that. So I'm going to put that through on two of them. Doesn't matter which one goes on top, which one goes on the bottom, they're both the same. Um, so you would put your centre post through here before doing this, so just bear that in mind because you'd want to um, give this a little tighten, um, and these would actually be tightened up at the end. So once you get tension, you then fully tighten these up. Okay, so put our clamps on the base, like so, like that, and then we would just put our Try and find roughly find that position. Once you get one, you'll get the other one. There we go, like so. And you can see that these then come out on the other side. What I then just do is I use a spring washer, like so. And then put our bolts on. And I'll just get our 5mm Allen key. And they're not actually turning at the back. Make sure that this is pushed all the way up. I'm going to loosen that off a little bit actually. Show you that. There we go. So basically, that bolt um, then butts up against um, here. We'll just give these a tight tighten up. Now, I'm not going to give these a fully tighten up, but what you would then do is just put a spanner on the back of there and just tighten that up, just so, just so that the, the spring washer is compressed. Just nip them up. You find that if you over tighten these, you'll end up crushing the plastic, um, and that's something that you actually don't want to do. And then what you'll find is, you'll find that your pole goes in here very nice and neatly. Um, one thing that I would say is that when I did receive these aluminium poles, um, tubes, um, I actually had to just take a file through the middle of it because um, the way that they were extruded together, there was just a little bit left over aluminium in there. So it was almost like a bar. So once I took that off, um, this then slipped into it just nicely. And you can see that's got a nice fit there. So there we are. So that's our hex beam centre plate made. And... 
So next video we'll probably talk about the centre post. Um, again, it's not really complicated. Um, anyone with a little bit DIY skills will be able to do that. Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next one. 73, bye for now.